I've been working on this story and this idea of like, man, we need to tell the story about how MVP started, how that, that all, you know, the genesis of that, like I was just explaining. And, and so when things just look like they were never going to open again, I'm like, I'm not going to wait any longer. I'm just going to, we're going to make this movie. And people like Jay, Tony, Randy, um, Sylvester Stallone, so many others were like, we love MVP. Put my name on it. Whatever you need, I'll help. And then about 50% of the cast and crew is just veterans from the MVP community, people that I just reached out and said, do you want to help? We're going to do this thing. We're going to shoot it in L.A. We've got a lot of you know, people that have restaurants, clothes, and things like that. And they said, we're, we're welcome to use it you know, to, to make this thing. And, and so we, we just did it. You know, we had very little money. And bootstrapped. We, yeah, we bootstrapped. And we did it together. And it was like it was vets and athletes telling our own story. And um, we had the opportunity to, to screen it this week, uh, the Super Bowl, uh, down at LA Live, Super Bowl week, uh, just a couple of nights ago. And it was amazing. We had 500 RSVPs, and we had we filled two theaters. And this, we were just sending the flyer out on Instagram. Like, we, you know, we didn't really market this thing. And everybody came out for this. And what were the mo moments that really resonated with the audience? I think, you know, when they, when they, when they, when they see this person like this athlete, this NFL player who's played by Mo McCray, who's an incredibly um, underrated actor, like this guy should be a star, and I think he will be now. But this guy who you'd think has it all, right? Played 10 years in the league, first round draft pick. He's got a wife and a kid and a nice house and a, the car, and like, it's like, he's got it all. Uh, and he's got, he feels like he has nothing, you know, because he'll never be great again. And Tony Gonzalez, for instance, came in in the scene, in one of the scenes, uh, we're sitting on the, the wrestling mat talking about stuff. And he's sharing his real story about losing that uniform. And that guy's a Hall of Famer, probably the best tight end to ever play the game. And feeling like he's peaked, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And really just, that's really him, just really telling his own story. Randy Couture, same thing. Um, those moments, I think, resonated more than anything. And of course, hearing these veterans tell their stories, every veteran on screen is played by an actual veteran, by the way, which is really cool, including Dan Loria, who, oh. you know, from the Wonder Years. He was a Vietnam vet. And like, these guys, they're sort of playing themselves in some way, you know? And, and of course, it's, it's scripted, and it's, there's a little bit of, you know, Hollywood that we had to, to make everything work and move forward, but like it's it's really authentic and, and real, and uh, I think that's what resonated with people was just that it was real, and it's like that's really that person, you know, feeling those things and going through those real things, and and uh, I, I I can relate to that because most of the audience there was athletes and vets, you know, and they're like this is this is right, you know, this is our story, and and this is uh, this feels genuine. Pretty cool that in. in age when we could not, seemingly could not be more polarized, you're bringing people together with this in two diverse groups with disparate, of, you know, experiences, uh, you're pulling them together. I think that's, that was Jay and my, our dream or our hope with this is like, we see where the country's going, where the world's maybe going, and we want to be a part of bringing everybody together. And like, what better way than these two groups that most people kind of look up to, you know, we look up to athletes that are like these icons and they have this platform and a lot of them do a lot of good, you know, and, and these veterans that are willing to sacrifice so much um, for us, you know, to have these, these, the freedoms that we enjoy, to have, you know, a, a Super Bowl, <laughs> this, you know, this, this every, every, uh, every year on that, that Sunday, um, you know, we come together in living rooms and, and in stadiums and wherever it is and, we put all that stuff aside. We put all our differences aside. We just enjoy the game, you know, and we enjoy one another. And, like, those moments are really special. And we just want to duplicate those, replicate those um, more, you know, and, and, uh, and really help people that, that are struggling, you know, that, that feel alone and feel lost and feel like, uh, you know, they'll never be great again. And they've peaked. And, and it's just not true. You know, we've got, we've got a lot of life left to live. And uh, there's no reason those two groups of people specifically can't help kind of lead 
this country forward and, and, and bring us all back together. So that's all we're trying to do, and we're doing the best we can. Where can people see this movie? Right now, uh, we're working on figuring that out. <laughs> we're working on finding the right partner. MVP. Um, yeah, MVP. Uh, finding the right partner to distribute. distribute. Uh, we've got some offers in, and we're just evalu evaluating all that. But I hope this thing, uh, this thing will be out. The movie will be out sometime this year. And uh, we'll make sure it's everywhere it can be. The screening last night, or two nights ago, I should say, if anything, what I learned from that was like, people connect to this thing, you know, despite the budget, despite all these other challenges we faced, it didn't matter. The story resonated with people. And, uh, and so we're, we're gonna find a way to get it, to get it out there to, to everyone and make it, make it available. But most importantly, I want it to be available to um, the veteran community and the athlete community. You know, so I want, those, I want all of them to be able to to experience this and, and understand like why MVP exists, what we're all about, and uh, and you know just join our tribe and let's let's keep moving forward together. Sounds like an impossible dream, but I think you've encountered those before. So uh, uh, I'm not betting against you. Well, I appreciate that. Sam. Thanks so much, Nate, for coming. Thank. You.